Hi, this is Ant, and in this screencast, I'm going to show you Boom, which is the drum machine that comes with Pro Tools 8, okay? So, I'm going to go to Pro Tools, and I'm going to create a new track with the shortcut Shift, Command, and N, or you can just do that from the track menu up here. Stereo instrument track, create. Now I need to insert the Boom plugin on the first insert of the track. So, inserts, multi channel. Uh, instrument and then boom which is there okay so this is the boom window I'll just give you a very quick tour around the features here this is the grid which shows us what each sound is doing in boom okay we can program patterns in boom and each pattern has 16 steps usually and each one of these lit portions tells us that the sound will play there. So if I solo the kick drum and press play, so you'll see that the uh, you'll see that the kick drum is playing on 1, 5, 9 and 13. Okay? And then if I bring in the snare, that's just playing on five and thirteen so hopefully this gives you an insight into how how the programming works here you can see visually what should be playing when underneath that we've got swing which pushes some of the beats later so that you get a, a more swung feel okay so i'm just going to zoom out a bit and solo the closed hi-hat so you can hear that in action so if i take the swing to minimum that's much more robotic and straight. If I turn the swing up, you can hear those alternate notes pushed back later to give it a swing kind of feel, okay? Now, uh, volume is the overall global volume of the, the plugin, and then dynamics is the difference between the quiet and loud sounds, okay? Now, when we program one of these notes to play, we have three different brightnesses it can be at. So if we click on it once, that's the loudest one. And again, that's medium, and that's the lower one, okay? So if I make some quiet ones as well as loud ones, okay? We play, I'll solo the kick drum, and then we play. So you can hear some of those notes are quieter than the others. The dimmer notes are quieter. If I take the dynamics to minimum, they're all the same volume. But if I take it up really high, those quieter ones are much quieter. So that's basically the distance between the quiet and loud sounds in terms of volume. Then each channel of boom for each sound has these controls. There's a pan at the top. The level is the volume of that sound. The tune is the pitch of the sound, okay? So if I play, I can tune the kick drum up or down. Okay, and then the decay is the amount of time the sound takes to play out and go to silence. So listen as I change that. And then we have the solo and the mute, which is the same as on any mixer. And then also there's this screw at the bottom. And if you turn that, you get another level of uh, interaction with the sound. And it depends on what sound you're doing it on. So if I turn this up, it actually makes the kick drum sort of snappier. Okay, so I'm just going to stop that. So all those controls are the same for each channel. Then here... We can select which drum kit we want that sound to come from. So at the moment, we're using the global setting for electro. See, this changes the entire kit for the plugin. So at the moment, it's on electro, but we can actually swap the sound, each individual sound out. And then you get the little star there to say we're not using just all the sounds from one kit. So I'm just going to put some different ones in. Okay. Okay, now down the bottom here, we've got start and stop. 
And then uh, the speed of the patterns, you can double or half the speed of the pattern. And then this is for triplet mode. We don't really need to worry about those at all. Now here we've got pattern select or pattern edit. This is the edit mode. So if we're in pattern select, the buttons along here, the 16 buttons along here, can be used to select one of the 16 patterns that we have in the drum machine. So if you see at the top here, when I click on the different ones, it shows you the different number patterns, and it also shows you the key that it's triggered off. So one is C3, okay? And then two is C sharp three, and so on, okay? Then if we switch to pattern edit, what we're seeing is that sound represented across these 16 buttons. So basically it's that row, that top row is the kick drum on the grid. But when we're in pattern edit, we can see it here on these buttons, and it's exactly the same. So if I take out sounds, you'll see they, it comes out up there. If I put another one in on three, you'll see it comes up. Okay, so that's how we edit the, uh, the, the pattern for each individual sound. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clear the grid here. And then I'm going to start putting together a very simple beat. Okay, so I'm on the kick drum. So I'm just going to go one, nine, eleven. Okay, I'll just play that. Now I'm going to put some snare drums in. Okay, then I'm going to put some hi-hats in. And you notice I'm changing the uh, volume of the hi-hats by clicking more than once. Okay, so that's a very, very simple part. So that's my pattern one. So now if I hit C3 on the keyboard, that will play. So I'm now going to go to pattern select and hit copy. And now all these buttons are flashing. What's that? What that's telling us is that it's ready to copy pattern one to another pattern in the system. So I'll click on two and then go back to pattern edit. Okay, so now this is on the key C3, C sharp three, sorry. So now I'm just gonna change this slightly so we've got a variation on it. going to put a open hi hat in as well okay so we've now got two patterns that are programmed in c3 and then c sharp 3 so what I'm going to do in the next screencast is show you how we get those patterns into Pro Tools and start to manipulate what Boom can do. Thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you again soon.